What's the worst thing about prison? Yeah, the worst thing about prison. The worst thing about prison, I think, for everybody else, because there was a lot of men in there who were crying, a lot of men who were having mental breakdowns. I think it is the problem I didn't have, which is knowing that if you're a normal man, you go to jail and they just pick you up and you go to jail. Who pays the rent? Who's feeding your kids? Who's your wife sleeping with? Like, like life gets hard for all the external things you could no longer control, things that were your responsibility. I was lucky I didn't have those problems. And when I spoke to people, most people's issues were things that were happening on the outside. And I felt really good knowing that my life is set up in a way where even if I'm plucked from it, it operates. And I set that up because I thought they were going to kill me. Even to this day, if they shoot me right now, everyone around me, everything would be okay. I don't have to exist for my life to function. So... That was fantastic about jail. The worst thing about jail, I mean, the cockroaches started off really bad, but after a few days, it's amazing how quickly you get used to cockroaches just in your bed. <laughs> You're just like, oh, fuck. just kick them out of the way. That was kind of bad. But um, not knowing when I'm going to get out, that was bad. Having my name slandered all around the world, that was bad. Not knowing how people are reacting to it. Like the, my first time, month in jail, I didn't know if people believed this garbage or not. I, I had no access to the internet. I didn't see anything. There was a lot about it that was hard, but um, I have to believe it's going to make me a better person. Why else would I, why else did I go? What did I go for? To waste three months? To stare at a wall for three months? Is that why I went to jail? No, I must have gone to jail to become a better person. I must have learned something. I have to self-analyze and find the lessons and pick it out. And I think a lot of people don't do that with all the bad situations in their life, regardless of whether you went to jail or a woman left you or your business failed, whatever it is, you need to analyze the entire situation and say, okay, what can I learn? There's a, there's a big pile of shit here, but there must be a little bit of gold inside. So I've just tried to look at it as a massive learning experience and perhaps that's a coping mechanism, but I've found a lot of lessons which I'm implementing. And, uh, and there's a very strong chance they're going to put me back. Not because I'm guilty, because I haven't done anything wrong, but because I'm currently in the middle of a, a, a judicial system. I'm in, I'm in the judicial system of a country. I don't truly understand the language. I don't understand the judicial system. I don't understand the charges against me. I don't understand how any of this can be legal. I don't understand how, where it's come from. I don't understand the evidence they believe they have. And here I am stuck in this process. And who knows how it's going to end?